welcome back to my channel if you're already goodie, welcome back if you're brand new welcome welcome I'm really excited to have you all here today I am very excited to be collaborating with Yaya the Great she is going to do some protective styles for you all and they are not going to be wigs and weaves guys you all know that I'm on this hair growth journey and I would love for you all to join me on this journey Anyways, I wanted to make this super hydrating and nourishing do-it-yourself leave-in conditioner and body hydrating spray. This stuff is amazing and it's packed with nutrients and smells absolutely amazing, guys. As you know, I'm allergic to nuts and I have eczema, so I won't be incorporating any kind of nut tree nut oils in this. But this intro is kind of long for me, so let's get into these tools. I have this tablespoon. We're going to need this tablespoon measuring tool. You're going to need a half a cup measuring cup. I'm clumsy, so I need a funnel. For those of you all that are daring and don't have children, you can have a glass sprayer bottle. Actually, if you're using essential oils, in it, you probably should use brown glass. But for me, I'm clumsy, so we're gonna have this plastic spray bottle that I picked up at Home Depot for $1.99, y'all. We are gonna use rose water. Orange blossom water. Iris water. Aloe vera juice, of course, honey. And water, water. Smart water to be exact, but you can use distilled water. Or you can use water out your faucet. Let's put this funnel on and let's get this party started. We're gonna use half a cup of rose water. Rose water is amazing for the skin. It helps with the pH balance, it controls excess oil, it's anti-inflammatory, and it helps reduce the redness of acne and the redness of eczema. It's a great cleanser and aids in removing oil and dirt accumulated in pores. Now for your hair, it's very nourishing. The rose water enhances the quality of hair, is known to treat mild scalp inflammations and get rid of dandruff, y'all. Rose water works wonders as a natural conditioner and helps revitalize hair growth. A little side note, it also helps, the aroma also helps with anxiety. Next, we're gonna use a half a cup of orange blossom water. For your skin, it is a great toner. It can help to actually stop the itching of eczema if you use it daily. It aids in the ridden of acne and can be used as a makeup spray, a makeup setting spray, y'all. For your hair, it can help condition your hair and bring back its shine and help with your scalp and hydrate your hair. It's definitely not a conditioning and hydrating party without using aloe vera juice. Aloe vera juice contains something called protolactic enzymes. And what these little bad boys do is they repair dead skin cells on the scalp. It also acts as a great conditioner and leaves your hair all smooth and shiny. It promotes hair growth, prevents itching on the scalp, and reduces dandruff and just all around conditions your hair. We're using a full cup of aloe vera juice. Now all of these are pretty budget friendly. The aloe vera juice is a little bit more expensive, but I found all of these, all the blossom waters at my local farmer's market for about a dollar a bottle. So we're going to use about two tablespoons of this iris water. I found this at my local Indian farmer's market. Now both the extract and the root of the actual iris blossom plant can help to encourage the skin to stay active and reduce internal damage that could lead to fine lines and wrinkles. And it helps with hair elasticity. Now what I will say is that the aloe vera juice ran me about, mm, I wanna say it was about $14.99. We're now using water water, smart water to be exact, but you can use distilled water or even tap water. I prefer not to use tap water just because of the um, chemicals in it. 
but filtered water works well. We're gonna put two heaping cups of that. You can always add more water to make your leave-in conditioner stretch. In the shower, or sometimes I'll put it on the counter, I let my body air dry, I dampen my hair a little bit in the shower, and then I spray my whole body, face, and everything, as well as my hair with this, and I seal it with the sealant oil. And it's that easy.